My name is Megan, I'm a second year and I do geography. I'm from Luton, which is just north of London, it's in Bedfordshire, and Luton has a bit of a bad rap. Um, if you've ever listened to any of Stacey Dooley's documentaries, that's her hometown as well, she speaks about the troubles that Luton faces. So Luton has quite high crime, um, quite low university participation rates. Um, not many people I know go to university. I was the first in my family. Um, so yeah, as much as I enjoyed growing up in Luton, it was nice to have a change and come somewhere different. Um, at school, I went to a normal state school. It was a Catholic school. So um, it was a bit of a different experience to some other people's, but um, they did prepare me as much as they could for university. Um, but it's nice to have a change of surroundings. Um, but I definitely will go back to Luton after my time here. Maybe not permanently, um, but yeah, I miss home despite all the challenges it brings. <laughs> Oh, that's such a good question. Um, lots of things make me passionate. Um, I think the drive for the future, um, as I said, I'm from Luton, um, it's quite difficult when you're growing up, when you see a lot of people around you not really succeeding, having trouble finding work and not getting on in their education. So I think I've always thought, I don't want that to be me. My parents have always tried very hard to instill a sense of drive and determination in me. So what makes me pas passionate is just sort of the drive to do well and hopefully have a family in the future and do well in my education and get a good job at the end of it. So yeah, I think looking at the future sort of drives me forward. So I chose to go to university because since I was young, I always thought that university looked great from the media, from films, from books. I always thought this is something that I really want to do. And as not many people around me had gone, it was quite exciting that, oh, I was gonna be the first out of my family. A lot of my close friends haven't gone. So I always thought, oh, it would be really nice to do a subject for three years I'm really passionate about and have all these new life experiences. Um, and I chose Nottingham in particular because I went to a summer school here with the Sutton Trust. Um, so I spent a week here, I stayed in Florence Boot Hall. Um, I did a bit of geography, I did a bit of socialising. I met so many lovely people um, and I just thought, that week, if that was gonna be the next three years of my life, then I'd really enjoy it. So the summer school really persuaded me into going into Nottingham. Um, and I'm really glad that I went on that summer school because it's literally changed the course of my life. <laughs> um, so I looked at Leeds. Um, a lot of my friends who are now at Nottingham, they also looked at Leeds. Um, the course did look great, but the campus, wasn't quite like Nottingham's. Nottingham's campus is so big. Um, I like that there's a little bit of separation from Nottingham, the campus, the University Park campus and the city. Um, whereas Leeds, it was all a bit um, combined. And Leeds, I think, was just so big. It was quite far away. Whereas Nottingham, there's so many good transport links. I can get a direct train home. Um, and as I said, the summer school, that really sold me. Um, having a week here versus just the open day at Leeds, um, I just really loved the idea of coming to Nottingham. My school were really supportive. Um, they had this university scheme where if you're looking to go to Russell Group University or Oxbridge, they mentored you and um, they put us in touch with a teacher who'd been to Oxford um, and they guided us. We had twice you know, we were fortnightly meetings um, where they talked us through the UCAS process because I had no idea about applying to uni. I didn't even know that there was a UCAS fee. I didn't know you had to pick five. I didn't really know anything. So yeah, definitely my school helped a lot um, in bringing in um, university speakers and things like that. And they also gave people bursaries to go to offer holder days and open days and things like that. So they were so supportive. Um, and I also looked a lot online. So I looked at a lot of YouTubers um, and I watched their experiences, their study days in the life and things like that. Um, Cause that gave me sort of a perspective of what university is like when you actually get there. And from that, it made me realize that I would like to be in their shoes one day. I think with COVID, that was obviously such a big thing. Um, Cause when I was applying to uni, I imagined that my freshers week would be so busy. I'd be out all the time. I'd meet hundreds of people. But unfortunately when I went to university, it wasn't quite the same. Um, freshers week was a little bit more subdued than it would be in a normal year. And I could only really socialize with my hall. I didn't meet many course mates. Um, so first year that was a little bit different, but now I'm in second year. It is pretty much exactly how I imagined. Um, I imagined that I'd be in the student house cause that was sort of what the internet said and what a lot of study tubers said, that you know, you'd live in a house in Lenton with a couple of friends you met in first year and that's what's happened. Um, I'm going out a bit more now. I'm enjoying the course a lot, going to lectures 
um, like a couple of times a week, seminars. Um, so yeah, it is sort of what I pictured now. Um, but I've definitely enjoyed it even more than I thought. I was quite shy before I went to university, but I think university showed me that I've done so many things that I never imagined that I'd do. Like I'm on committee now for Geography Society, um, even doing things like this, I never would have imagined speaking in public, but now I'm here. So university is everything I imagined, but even more. My first day at uni, that was quite memorable. Um, so obviously everyone came in wearing masks. Um, it was really hard to get to know people at the beginning because we could see with their eyes. Um, but I met my neighbour straight away and we really clicked. And then I somehow ended up on the third floor and I bumped into all of these girls. The fire alarm went off. Um, I think a parent must have nudged it with their arm or a heavy suitcase. Um, the fire alarm went off and then everyone was outside and then everyone came back in and then suddenly there was a new circle of people. Um, and I just got to meet this whole new group of girls and they were really nice. We went on a campus walk because you couldn't really be inside that much socialising. So we went on a campus walk. It was the sunniest day. It really didn't feel like September. It felt like July. It was lovely. Um, we were all a bit tear stained because we just said goodbye, but we just wanted to jump into it straight away. Um, and we walked around the campus, around the lake, and then we came back and had dinner together. And now four of them girls I'm living with, and I'm living with them next year as well. So I'd say that's pretty memorable. The first group of people that I met, I'm still really close friends with now. Um, and yeah, if I link that to my first week of uni this year, it was really different because we got to go clubbing for the first time. I turned 18 um, just the week that lockdown happened. So my big 18th, I never got to have, unfortunately. So when I went clubbing for the first time in Nottingham, I really enjoyed it. Um, I literally went with all of them girls that I met on my first day and we just had a really nice night, stayed till 3 a.m. and then came back to our student house that was now ours um, and had cheesy chips. And it was the very stereotypical experience that I imagined last year, but I'm kind of of glad it was a year delayed in a way because I felt a bit more mature. Um, I think clubbing in the beginning may have overwhelmed me, but I'd made these good friends I was going on a night out with. I knew I'd be looked after and we had a really nice night. Oh, of a lecture. Um, I didn't have them until second year, so they're a bit more fresh, these experiences. Um, I think my most memorable one is sitting down um, and I didn't know anyone in this lecture. Um, as I said, I hadn't made loads and loads of course friends and I was doing a module that none of the people that I had met were doing. Um, as soon as I sat down, I spoke to the girl next to me and we're now really good friends. Um, she came to my birthday party last week. Um, we went for brunch the other day. I just can't believe that we sat down, we spoke, we clicked and now we're really good friends. Um, and hopefully we're gonna go on a geography trip soon together. So yeah, I'd say, <laughs> Although I love the geography content, I think because we'd never gone into a lecture hall, the socialising aspect of it was the most important to us at the time um, this October. So, yeah, I think just sitting down and clicking with someone instantly and being friends six months later is probably my most memorable experience. The first one we went to was Monica Partridge. I think it's called AO3. And yeah, it, it's, it's everyone in there, um, like the whole 300 people. And yeah, it was massive. Um, and it was really cold. <laughs> I didn't realise it'd be so cold. They have the air conditioning on. And because of COVID rules, they had the door open as well. Um, so yeah, it was quite intimidating. It's very different to a school classroom or a school assembly hall or anything. Um, but I feel more at home now. You just know where to sit and where not to now. <laughs> I really enjoyed living in halls. Um, I love the mundane bits of going to dinner and getting brunch on a Saturday and Sunday, but um, probably the most memorable was the end of year formal. So restrictions had lifted enough. We weren't sure if it was going to happen, but restrictions lifted in, I think it was late May, early June. Um, so we could eat with all of our friends. We all wore nice dresses and suits and they had music playing and all the staff were dressed up and they were handing us out a glass of Prosecco and they had a lovely roast dinner. And afterwards we went up to someone's room and had a bit of a dance and a party. And it was so nice that finally Finally, we got to celebrate with everyone, especially as most of us missed our year 13 proms. It was lovely that we could all come together um, in the dinner hall that we'd sat in for all of these months, um, but we could all be dressed up this time. The food was really good. Yeah, it was a full roast dinner. Um, the dessert was really good. It was like this toffee chocolate pudding thing. Yeah, it was good. I do miss home. Um, I go home actually a lot less now than I used to, so I think I miss home less. Um, I miss my mum and my dad. We're quite a close-knit family and my brother. And my brother's 15, 
So I started uni when he was 14 and I feel I have almost missed a little bit of him growing up. I feel like every time I go back, he's grown taller. He's nearly six foot now. I don't really know when that happened. I feel like I missed out. Um, so I miss all of them sorts of things. Um, like my grandparents are growing old. I'm quite sad that, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So I'm quite sad that I'm missing everyone sort of growing up in a sense. Um, but it is lovely when you come home. Um, I do sometimes miss a roast. I haven't really got round to making a roast yet. So mum's roast I do miss. Um, but I've really appreciated the value of hopping on a train and going home or a phone call. Um, the longest I did was seven weeks without mum, which felt like quite an achievement, but also a step, you know, growing older. If I ever go travelling or I'm away for a long period of time, I am going to be away from mum and dad for a while. So as much as I miss them, it is part of growing up, really. I'm not going to be with them 24-7 anymore. In the beginning, um, my mum would start crying on FaceTime before I would. <laughs> she, I think, missed me more than I um, did in the beginning. Um, yeah, um, but I think on social media, I've now added my mum on Instagram. So she really appreciates that she can see what I'm up to. Um, sometimes she'll that's kind of a bad thing because you'll see that I'm out and say, oh, I thought you've got a deadline on Monday. I thought you'd be busy working. So it has its downsides. But yeah, um, I think just keeping mum up to date with what I've been doing has really helped her um, sort of get through me leaving. And because I've promised that I'm coming back after three years and I probably most likely will because I won't be able to afford anywhere to live, um, coming back home, um, she's really looking forward to. They didn't really come up much in first year. Um, it was only when they were picking up my bags and things like that to take me home. But this year they've really got to explore um, Nottingham. I took them to Woolerton Park, which they really loved. All the deer and it's so green and open. Back home we don't really have loads of green and open spaces. So they really loved just going to the park and my brother enjoyed having a little kick around. And yeah, it was a bit weird when they stepped into my student home because that's such a almost adult free zone um, it's just us us seven just enjoying ourselves so I kind of forgot about the mess um, the dishes lying there and the bin bags that haven't been taken out it almost feels part of the house so when mum came and commented on that I thought oh I, I, I didn't even notice um, but yeah they have enjoyed coming up to Nottingham and seeing what my sort of alternate life is like I'd say the lake. I think the lake is pretty special. Um, where I come from back home, we don't really have much in terms of lakes or rivers. They're all a bit polluted, but the Nottingham Lake is gorgeous, Highfields Lake. Um, and I think it's from April to October and you can go boating on the lake. And I did that twice last year and I really enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to it in a couple of days when that opens again. Um, yeah, the sun was shining. It was really fun. I'm not very good at um, rowing the boat, but I had a good time anyway. Um, and it's really cheap as well to hire out. So whenever I've had family come up to visit me, I've always suggested let's go to the lake. One of my favourite things about the city is that there's so many student bars and clubs to go to. Uh, it's a bit of a cliche but I love ocean. Um, ocean on a Friday is really fun. Um, we dressed up as a hen party the other night and um, we went dressed up as the first letter of your name. So I went as Minnie Mouse and my other friends went as different things and that was really fun. I love ocean because it's just students, it feels really safe. Um, you get different ticket times so you know if you want an early night you can go at nine and come home at midnight if you fancied. Um, also Rock City as well. Um, I've been there for a few gigs not just clubbing. Um, the music scene in Nottingham is really good that was what I was looking forward to and I'm really glad that restrictions have lifted so we can now have gigs again. Um, I really love going to Rock City. I think the best thing about living at uni is the independence that you get um, at home as much as I love my mum and dad. Um, they are quite protective and quite um, they fussed over me and before I went to uni they used to do all the cooking and the washing and I felt like not much of an adult um, especially as I turned 18 during lockdown I really didn't feel like an adult I still felt like a child um, but now I've come to uni I've got these responsibilities and they're still only little responsibilities like doing my own washing and cooking for myself and keeping myself alive if I'm ill that sort of thing but I have actually quite enjoyed it and I think that when I go back home after university or when I do eventually move out one day um, all these skills that I've learned at uni I'll be able to take with me um, and it's really lovely for these three years living with your friends um, you know in the future I might um, live with friends in London or something who knows but it's been really nice that all of us have been around each other especially where I live um, I have friends next door I have friends across the road I have friends a couple of roads away, like everyone just lives around each other, which is quite unique. You're never going to live 
you know, a couple of roads away from 20 of your favourite people. So, yeah, I love the independence that uni gives me and the fact that all of my friends live within five minutes. Ooh. Um, I love the sense of pride you have over the fact you go to Nottingham, um, University of Nottingham. When you're on a night out, um, sometimes the DJ will be, say, oh, if you're from Uni of Nottingham, scream, and then everyone shouts, and you just feel this really weird sense of pride, which is really nice. Um, I'm not very sporty, but even so, we've had the Bucks and the Varsity Games, and everyone's still gone along to support, even if they don't know anyone that's playing. It's still this sense of pride that you get, and enjoyment that other people are doing really well for your uni and representing them. Oh, I don't have any of the green um, jumpers. I really would like one, but I'm not sporty enough. But I do, um, I'm part of the Geography Society and I'm their publicity sack. So I have a little polo that says Jog Sock and University of Nottingham. And I think it won some award. Um, it's quite a big society. We do a lot of stuff. Um, so it's got this gold star on it as well, which everyone is quite proud of. <laughs> I love my course because it's so diverse. Um, I do geography and it's such a mix of so many social sciences. One day you could be studying policy, the next you could be doing about climate change, the next you could be doing about economics. It's just so varied and it never gets boring because you're doing about so many different topics. Um, I also love the fact that we do trips. Um, not many subjects apart from languages have the option to go on trips during their studies, um, but we've just got the option of going on four different trips and we have to pick one. Um, hopefully I'll be going to Berlin in November. Um, and that will be really an, a really nice opportunity to spend time with my course mates and finally get out of the country. And yeah, I just love the fact that geography takes you outside of the classroom. I felt really supported by my personal tutor, um, Matt. I really like him. Um, he actually really reminds me of my dad, so it's quite comforting. Um, just the way he talks and the way he acts. Um, he's just this really lovely man. Um, and he's always said, if you ever need to come to my office, let me know. He does scheduled meetings as well. Um, especially in first year, he wasn't just focused on checking that our essays were good and that we were sort of hitting good marks. He really wanted to know how we were and if we were OK. Um, for example, four weeks ago, I had COVID um, and I had to email him because I was worried about not getting my essays done because I was quite ill. And he was so nice. He didn't just want to help about me getting an EC claim. Um, he really wanted to check that I was OK and offer assistance in any way that he could. So, yeah, um, the personal tutor system I really benefit from um, and especially that you can meet them in person now. Um, it's just so lovely to have that proper adult looking out for you at uni. I'm quite involved in doing placements um, because I really want to get out of university, not just the course, but I want to have some work experience as well. So I've done an autumn and a spring semester placement and I'm doing one at Easter too. Um, and the social sciences careers department were unbelievably helpful. Um, they shortlisted loads of different um, vetted companies that you could work for in the local Nottingham area um, and I really enjoyed my placement experience. Um, I worked as a research assistant at the Human Rights Lab on campus. Um, I also worked for a charity doing their social media um, and over Easter. This one's a paid one as well, um, which is really good. It's to do with their widening participation um, stuff that they do. Um, so it's really good that they're being inclusive and making sure that everyone can have opportunities to work, um, especially if you don't have many contacts and things. Um, and that's working um, with schools to um, implement different behavioural policies and make sure that kids are getting their GCSE grades so that they can eventually go to uni if they wish to. Um, so yeah, they've been so helpful. They've done career stuff as well. So they've checked over my CV. They've done practice interviews with me. I couldn't have asked for more help. And I'm I'm really glad that I've done these placements because it's just something extra to add to my CV. I'd say what has most inspired me are the people around me. Um, I love sitting in Monica and getting my work done with my friends around me or if there's a deadline coming up we'll all be messaging each other saying how far along are you like good luck keep going that sort of thing. Um, I love that if I come down to the kitchen and my friends know that I have a deadline coming up they'll be like oh do you want some help with dinner or they'll I think everyone around us Everyone knows that everyone's going through the same thing, no matter what subject you're doing, you're all working towards your deadlines. Other people have placements too, and you're just looking out for each other and supporting each other. Um, so yeah, I think we really inspire each other just to get our work done and know that we all have each other to celebrate when all the deadlines are done.
Um, so I absolutely love Jog Sock. And um, when I went on summer school, they spoke so highly of it. So I was really excited to be part of the society. They do so many different events, um, both sober socials, um, drinking socials during the daytime, nighttime. They just do so many different things. Um, my favourite one was this Wandering Freshers. Um, as a second year, um, I missed out doing it in first year, but it was kind of fun because even though we'd only been in second year for a few weeks, I'd already met a few people. So I could go along to this social with the new geography friends that I'd met and I also mingled with first years and third years. Um, geographers always get the taken the mick out of them for colouring in all the time so we sort of turned that on its head um, and we gave everyone a t-shirt with jog sock on it and then you could write everything you wanted on there um, and people had inside jokes about different lecturers from first year and you put each other's Instagram names on there and stuff so I really love Crayola that was a really good social I think we had a, around 100 people turn up which we really didn't expect um, I've loved being on committee so I do publicity and that's given me so many different skills I've really got to know the other committee members really well and I've loved sort of getting involved in the behind the scenes and coming up with new ideas for the socials and I'm running for president um, for next year. Um, I've literally applied today to be president so I'm really excited to see if I get that role or if I don't I'd happily be on any role on Jogsock committee because it's really fun just getting to be a part of it and I've met so many new people through doing it. At the beginning of this term, the spring semester, I tried out the Sign Language Society. Um, it's just always something that I've been interested in and since Strictly and watching um, Rose do her dance, um, I just found it amazing and I just thought what an amazing skill to be able to communicate with people who often don't get communicated with. Um, so I've learned a little bit of sign language. I don't know too much. I know the alphabet and some numbers and things, but I really enjoy going along to that. I went along with my housemate and we got to meet a few other people doing that. Um, it's just on a Tuesday evening. It's really relaxed. Um, it's also quite cheap as well. I love that most of the societies are so cheap and subsidised. Um, so yeah, I've really enjoyed doing sign language and I hope to go along to more sessions to improve my skills. <laughs> I think I've discovered that I'm more confident than I ever gave myself credit for. In school, I wouldn't have been someone to go for head girl or head prefect, or I never wanted to really take part in any sort of leadership things or, um, I didn't have a massive circle of friends. I had my close group, but I was always too shy to speak to the popular girls or really put myself out there. Um, but since I've come to uni, I've realised that I actually am an extrovert and I really love meeting new people. I really thrive off having them initial first conversations, getting to know someone. Um, and I can't believe that I'm going for Jog Sock president. If you would have told me that three years ago, I would have said, no way, I don't want to public speak. I don't want to have the responsibility of managing a big society but now I think I'm ready for it. So I just think I've discovered my voice almost that I have a, I have a lot of opinions. I like to talk and I love to just meet new people. When I came home for Christmas in first year, my mum said, you're like a different person. Um, even speaking to people on the phone now, I do it so much more regularly. I used to be so scared to book a doctor's appointment, for example, or something like that. Um, or when I'm at home, like my friends just say, if we're out now at home, I'm more likely just to speak to someone at a bar or I don't know. I just, yeah, I think they have noticed a change in me. I also think I'm a bit happier as well. Um, I did love sixth form, but there was so much stress. It was a lot of work and no play. Whereas at university, you do your work, you get on with it, you hopefully do well. But then there's also the side of going out and having fun with your housemates and things like that. So yeah, I definitely say I'm just a bit more confident and happier. I think making friends, um, I think we take it for granted a little bit in school and sixth form because your friends are sort of handed to you. Um, you know, you often have the same friendship group from when you're in year seven to year 13. Um, you just sort of mingle within your own social circles from where you live. But I think university has just really taught me the value um, and really how to make friends. I've got more friends now than I ever have. Um, and I'm really grateful. Um, also hand in hand with that networking, um, it's taught me um, that it's just so important to reach out to anyone you know. Don't be afraid to ask for help or ask for a contact. Um, yeah, so I just think it's taught me the value of talking to people and so many things that you can gain from that. Um, and obviously the independence aspect of uni as well, that's something that I'm going to carry with me. Um, I'm so glad now that I can do the little mundane tasks um, that I, can, I didn't really need to do before. We recently wrote a policy brief. So we did a policy brief about um, issues that are in Nottingham. So we did about the gig economy and why 
Uber isn't the best company for Nottingham and how it really doesn't benefit um, the people who are driving um, for Uber. And I feel writing this policy brief really helped because it really made me situate social issues and political issues that are going on in the real world. And we had to write policy briefs of how we could think that Nottingham and Uber could handle their drivers a little bit better and treat them better. Um, so I really think I've learned the skills of how to write critically and how to think about the world from different perspectives um, because A-levels are quite narrow, whereas university teaches you to think in so many different ways, to consider other people's point of views and just to write a good essay, really. I think the most demanding thing is that there's always something to be done. Um, during sixth form, you could always have a tick list of, oh, I've done homework for this lesson or I've wrote this for my UCAS application. And then you could relax and everything was done. But at university, the deadlines are quite long um, and you have a lot going on. Um, if you're part of a society or you just have housework to do or people that you arrange to see. So the list is sort of never ending of things to do at uni. And sometimes it can feel a bit overwhelming, especially if you've got four deadlines for the same day or something. Um, but to help me with that, it's just open communication. Um, if I'm struggling with something, I'll always open up to my housemates or my friends or mum on the phone back home. And I think, yeah, I just enjoy talking about things that well, I don't enjoy, but um, I find a lot of value in talking about things that are troubling me or that I'm a bit stressed with. Um, and then if I talk it out, the problem always seems a bit smaller than I first thought. I used to sometimes bottle things up and just let them get to me. But since coming to university, I've just learned the value of talking. Um, yeah, I think just talking, it really helps. Wow, my future. Um, it used to seem so far away, but now that I'm graduating in a year's time, really, it is quite scary. Um, I'm looking at internships at the moment for summer. Um, I may have got one, I'm just waiting to hear back. I've got so many rejections. I applied for 10 different companies and none of them wanted me. So I'm holding out hope for this one. Um, so my future, I'd like to think that I'd hopefully get an internship and maybe they could offer me a job. Um, but I think the main thing in my future is that I would really like to work for a company that I just am passionate about and that I'd like, well, the dream is to go to work every day and enjoy it, isn't it? As cliche as it sounds, I think from a town where a lot of people go to work to sustain themselves, there aren't many opportunities. It's really difficult to find a job that you really love. Um, I would really like to find a job that inspires me. Um, and I'd also like to do a bit of traveling. Um, since COVID, we haven't really been able to do that. And as a geographer, naturally, you're more inclined to want to go traveling and things. I couldn't imagine myself doing a gap year, but I think taking a couple of months out would be really nice. Um, yeah, I just see myself happy and fulfilled and hopefully still surrounded by all the friends I've made at university. I think my degree will mean to me the transferable skills that I've learned. So I've learned how to be critical. Um, I, through doing presentations and things, I've learned how to be confident. I've learned how to talk to new people. Um, I think, yeah, my degree won't just mean to me the piece of paper. It will mean all of the skills that I've learned that you can't really put your finger on, the sort of intangible skills that I've learned. The dream is just to be so happy, wake up every day and think, I'm going to have a good day. And I know that's not realistic because life throws at you really weird challenges that you never expected. But I am just really excited to be in a house that I've paid for or contributed to paying for and have some little kids running around and, you know, be seeing my university friends for brunch on the weekends and, you know, be visiting mum and dad. I'm just really excited to wake up and just be happy with what's going to go on that day.